Uh, Andrew Klosser, this one's from Andrew Klosser. Says, so thanks to Matt Iglesias, I watched Leon the Professional and really liked it. Natalie Portman should have stayed 11 years old. Leon the Professional is one of my favorite movies. Okay, even though it's gross, I think it like, or the the angle of it is like pedophilia. I think as far as like filmmaking goes, it is a great movie. It is a banger movie. Okay, straight up. This is literally the part that you're supposed to avoid in your mind as you like watch the movie and go, what a wonderful movie. What a great movie this is. Okay, but that is like, it's literally like trying. It's like when you watch anime and then there's a character in it where you're like god damn it why is this character 16 years old why'd you have to say it this is like watching an anime and like avoiding it especially if there's like a character that's like you know they don't really mention that the character is 16 and you just like don't think about it okay he is like no i love that I, i'm thinking about it the american version is less the same just less more or less the same just less pedophilia yeah it's like he said, the pedophilia put it over the edge for me, which made it a classic. Yeah, he, like, focused on the one aspect of the movie that you're not supposed to think about when you're watching the movie, other than, like, you know. Like, he literally just said, I'm leaning into the part of the movie that's, like, very gross and very French and, and uh, unacceptable and illegal. Okay. Yeah, they really get the incest right. Don't ask French philosophers or directors about pedophilia. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Very bad ride. That's why Yamakasi is the goaded French movie. Or Banlio 13. Or Taxi. Less pedophilia, more action. Uh, remember, guys, I grew up with French cinema because in Turkey, uh, when I was growing up, especially uh, movies that were made in America wouldn't make it to Turkey on time. We watched a lot of French movies. La Hine is incredible, incredible work of art. Um, you know Yamakasi? Holy, yeah, of course, dude. I watched so many, I watched so many French movies when I was growing up. La Hine is is a work of art. Also, I mean, just French movies in general. French cinema is great. I also love, I also love uh, French cinema in general because it's like. Like you will never, you will never watch uh, works of art in America that heavily feature. I guess A twenty four is kind of doing this now, but like some of the best uh, parts about European movies in general is how ugly every character is. I love that personally. Like you're just like these are the these are like these have to be. You had to have deliberately picked these people to play these roles. Okay, like. They are uniquely ugly. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, Jean Reno is their Tom Cruise. He is not a handsome man. Jean Reno is the most handsome man in France. What do you mean? <laughs> he is so handsome. Have you never seen Gerard Depardieu? What the f are you saying? Like, dude, here, here, here. D let me give you some examples. Okay, let me give you some examples of sexy French men, okay? Some of the most famous French actors, okay? Like, literally. And by the way, it's not like, oh, these motherfuckers aged, okay? A Vincent Cassel is another great example, okay? Ha ha ha, what do you mean? And it's not like these guys got old, and that's why they look this way. No, they literally all look this way from the beginning of their careers, dude. Search them up when they're young. Oh, no. Oh, these motherfuckers don't actually know. No, dog. They literally looked this way when they were young, too, bro. No, trust me.